Well up, guys. We're back. Episode two. Beyond the brush. James. Oh, it's welcome me, back. Yeah, okay. yeah. Well, yeah, I wasn't here last week, obviously, or last time, obviously. Um, we forgive you. We forgive you. Otherwise indisposed. So I do apologize. We're so happy to have you. Are you going to run us through some slides today? Uh, I'll do my best, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'll do my best. Um, but obviously, uh, amazing. I, I know you're more experienced there, but we'll go. Let's do it. Cool. More experience, less style, but let's do it. And um, we got some great images from what's been coming out around the Indomitus campaign from Games Workshop. So, yeah, James, Wait, what, what is this? Probably, buggy. probably the most controversial model that's <coughs> ever been released. I really like it. So, I genuinely do. Um, like it. I'm not the biggest fan, being frank. Um, yeah, I, I just not not too keen on it personally. What uh, do you like about it? I, I just don't think it. Look, I, I realise that the, the, the theme of the new stuff is a certain direction. Um, it's good that they've gone back to wheels as well, which is quite cool. But um, I just think that it doesn't really fit. Uh, the fit the narrative like that that well it that doesn't look like something out of 40k um it looks f- so far removed from 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 the from the narrative if i'm fair but then that's just per- completely personal it's not you know factual and i'm sure loads of people like it but like um i don't know there's just something about it that just doesn't scream 40k to me like, is it not like the old sidecar and bike just buffer no, and see, with, with one yeah, deaf yeah, marine the attack bike actually fits in with the narrative and fits in with the rest of mm. it like it just it there's been obviously a lot of mario kart memes but like <laughs> it does it does look like it it does look like it derives from that do you know what i mean like I, i'm being just being just being frank like it does it does you know i don't really i don't just don't see it like and there's loads of just just even like mechanically it just doesn't look it's supposed to be an all-train vehicle yet it's got the ground clearance of a slug do you know what i mean <laughs> so, <laughs> so, yeah. so like you know it's just yeah says it all but i, don't I know. can't unsee it i can't unsee mario in a car yeah, no i'm sorry i'm just i just really hope that the the primaris marine in the front his little feet are sort of doing that like um uh, fred flintstone yeah, <laughs> it's, uh, it's i really good, like it though to be some, fair it's the uh, thing is, the funniest thing is that i mean that thing is, is that as a base model loads of people are going to get their hands on it and convert it and make it different which is really cool like you know i've, I've seen some people that have done some like conversions of it and stuff and it looks great um it's a good concept as in something different from marines which is what they needed um yeah, however sure. i just i just think the execution it, it could, could have had a lot more thought behind it i don't like the fact that there's no harness holding the marine on like the back i know you haven't really seen, really seen around the back too much but obviously you could mag lock onto the plate i'm imagining with his armor but at the same time you know it, it, it just i know a lot of the stuff in 40k wouldn't work in real life because it's just you know it, but it just doesn't for me it just doesn't sell what it's supposed to be I can understand that. See, I think you made a good point there, though. It's something different because the amount of people that are like, oh, another Primaris Lieutenant, why don't they do something different? And then they do something different and it's like, oh, damn yeah. if they do, damn if they don't. Kind of. Is that it's, cool, cool. It's, it's got some cool, cool, cool option things. It's got some cool aspects to it. Like, don't get me wrong at all. Like, I'm, not, I'm, not trying to, I'm not sitting here trying to trounce it because like, it, it's got some, it has got some cool things. But I, but I just, yeah, I, for me, I just, I just don't, I don't see it. So I, it could also be the angle as well. Maybe you not get. Like, maybe, I think once maybe once you yeah. in your hand. Once you have it in your hand, I think a lot of people's opinions are going to change a bit. Like everything that, that has uh, ever come yeah. out, you sort of see the initial image and people are like blah 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 blah. And as soon as they actually physically see it, they're like, okay, I get it. Because obviously it's a photo. It's very two dimensional. You're not getting the depth at all. I, I, I suppose my, my, my critique on it is it's not so much that it's a bad model because that's not that's not what I mean. mean. I just think looking at it like design wise, like there's armor there's armor cowlings on the rear wheels, whereas the front are exposed. So yeah. Yeah, for me, this it's it's just aspects of design. Which if it's a combat vehicle, which it obviously is, um, there's certain portions of it which would be armored that mm. aren't, and there's portions of it that perhaps wouldn't be armored. No, well, I mean? so it's just, you might want to run over heads if you've got a plate of metal it's not as easy but in the game i think this is going to be i think it's going to be akin to maybe the land speeder it's going to be yeah. that sort of amount of points it's going to be assault cannon maybe we'll be able to swap it for a heavy bolter it's a light armored vehicle right it and look, it, yeah it, it, it'd be interesting to see what it's got with other options so it'll probably you know it's fast it's, right it's yeah. going to be fast yeah i think it'd be like, i think a lot of people will do what you said that like maybe just raise it a bit maybe just a wheels length so it's more like a four by four 
kind of mm. military jeep look. Yeah, I think it's got it's got some really cool like aspects to it. Like, but as an overall thing, yeah, I need to see it in the flesh, make a finalised opinion on it, and then, yeah, again, it's, it's just it's just an opinion. But um, but yeah, that's that's the uh, new Invader ATV. Um, I'm in the same I'm in the same camp as Matt here. I really like it, and obviously in the picture, I look I have to look at it and go, that's really small. But then when you realise how big a Primaris yeah, is, actually, it's going to be quite chunky. That's, that's going to be a, that's going to be a quite a chunky little boy. Yeah, yeah. What else we got, guys? What's next? next, so much armour. Boom! This, this love absolutely, this. absolutely love. Like it, it pays tarantula. Ma- yeah, it pays massive homage back to good old Space Crusade, the tarantula. Yes. Um, you know, so it's awesome. Like really, really cool. Like um, the most ludicrously massive gun shield you've ever seen. <laughs> <laughs> like um, you know, I think I saw some comments from people saying, "Oh, like why is the ammo feed in front of the in front of the the, the gun shield and stuff like that?" Which you know, social about- distancing. Exactly. It's very yeah. safe. <laughs> More so, it's to protect the tech marine from any explosion of the weaponry. That's what it's like. Yeah, but no, it's uh, it's really cool. Like really, really awesome. Uh, are those less less cannons? They're, they're they are the same auto cannons that the suppressors have got. It's got double. It's obviously got a double uh, version of it. But um, it'd be interesting to see. I think it comes with the last cannon. I think they, yeah. they said it comes with the last. It's got this option as well, and the last so. cannon option. Yeah, so um, it's mega. Like honestly, like really. Mega. Good I, I really so like it was, again. I just I think what I like about it is. It looks it looks brutal. It's quite basic mm-hmm. in brutality. It just kind of it's literally just a gun on a stick. I wonder how it's going <laughs> to sort of a little bit more than a stick. But I'm yeah. sort of wondering yeah, how it's going to work in the game. If it's just going to be like a, you drop it down and that's it, like it just stays there. Well, he's, a, he's, he's, he's a tech marine, right? The first thing I noticed is a tech prime. Is it, is it our first tech primaris marine? No, I you mean, had Ferris, Ferios. Yeah, yeah. Oh, you don't count. He's not red. <laughs> this can be in any any in, any uh, legion, any chapter, and he is he's a buff tech marine. He's a big tech tech marine. That was the most exciting thing when I first saw it. It'd be it. cool to see. Yeah, yeah, it'd be nice if the upper body is separate as well. If you look at the if you look at the left of just behind the cowling, it looks like he's got a bionic arm as well, mm. which is quite cool. Yes, um, it'd be Good. interesting to see all the details behind the, the armored cowling as well, just to see what, you know, how much detail work there is in there. Because I can imagine the front's obviously you've got the weapons and a couple of sensors and lights and you've got the servo skull thing, but but the um. But it'd be interesting to see how much details on the back of it. But it's uh, it's incredible, absolutely amazing, amazing piece of kit. It's it'd be quite cool to actually just use that front bit with the gun and put it on the dreadnought and have it like a gun shield. That's what should be on top of the ATV. <laughs> you could do that. I yeah. Yeah, you never know. They, it's your. They hob- could be. It's your hobby. They could James. bring out a heavy support version of the ATV. Yeah, if it's got that on it, I'd be a much happier. I, one. I just so. hope that Primaris Tech Marines are coming soon, like. Well, I'm sure they will be, yeah. I think they will. That'd be cool. But yeah, Imagine if they brought up from our chaplain. Hmm. The new we'll set. Yeah. We'll get onto that. It's coming. Isn't it? Cool. Well, What's like coming? What's coming? Next is. Everything yeah. is coming. Yeah. He's mega. Like, really, really good. This guy this oh, is oh, absolutely oh, insanely good. Like, insanely good. Um, it really pays homage to the old Necron artwork. Um, the Jess Goodman stuff. Yeah. It's just, you know, he's absolutely mega. He is chunky as hell, isn't he? Um, but yeah, really, really cool. You come um, across him, he's just going to have a bad day. Yeah, well, the thing that's really interesting is also the way that there's no sort of, there's no, it appears that there's no sort of flight stands as well for these, which is really cool. So it just looks like he's just sk- skimming, which is quite nice. He's still a floater. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. He's, uh, yeah, he's, he's ace. Like loads of really, really awesome little bits of detail on it. Um, you know, ridiculous weapon uh, again. And um, I think Necron Powers, this is, all the new Necron stuff, like just touching upon it, like it's what people have been waiting for for, for, for such a long time, um, you know. And um, the direction that have gone with it is just is just really, really good. Like obviously, the the a lot of things in the kit are uh, more like War and War of the Worlds, yeah. which, which is incredible. Mm-hmm. Um, but this guy, I love the fact that they paid homage to the original oh. artwork. Like, I absolutely love it. I think it's just great. This is yeah. the artwork that I saw in the um, the Jez Goodwin sketchbook I went through uh, the other day. And yeah. I was just like, hang on. This was done in 1995. Like that sketch yeah. was yeah. done then. Exactly. It's, it's cool yeah. to like see how they're like still the... going back that far. Like I love it. It's just it's just a torso, a massive gun, and massive grav balls. And <laughs> it's just it's so imposing. I mean, talk about Kennedy. What would you say about this one? Is that an imposing looking model silhouette? I was just, I was just going to go back to the sort of design they've done the sort of um, it looks nicer because it's more everything's all in whereas the last one you had the sort of square mm. exhaust yeah. ports 
whereas this is all very it's quite, it's quite round <laughs> Way more aer- aerodynamic, right? You know, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Right. That's the word I was looking for. Yeah. Aerodynamic. I, like, but I, I think I think we touch back to the original destroyer, though. Like, I think it, it, oh. it's, it's, the, the reason why the reason why like the original destroyer rather that came out, like it was it was just like a gun platform, wasn't it? If I remember yeah. correctly, like, you know. But well, it's well. quite interesting to see how it's progressed. Like, but the the previous version or the the the, 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 the ones before these, the the blockiness made them a bit more bit more aggressive or stern looking whereas obviously this is touching back to the old artwork it, it, it's still touching upon that but I, I just like the progression of the model in general even though this is not is a heavy destroyer so i'm wondering if we're going to get lighter versions of this that don't have yeah. the ridiculous yeah. cannon do you know what i mean so um that's so know, cool right it, do we have more necrons coming do. yeah <laughs> what we got what, what else have we got, we got... oh my god i think sorry War my favorite bit my of favorite bit yeah, tell, it, tell who, who's warring of the worlds, Kennedy. What's what's this, warring of the worlds about it? This is uh, it's just that very it's that image of the Big Ben, and you've got this thing crawling across Big Ben. It's that, yeah, yeah, that very alien robotic. It's with a much bigger cannon on it. Sexton, yeah. Oh yeah, definitely. spindly legs, yeah, a bit arachnid, and yeah. uh, a, the height of it. It's it sort of. It, it, you don't know where to look first, in a way. No, there's so much to it, and I think as well the interesting thing is they've kept the, they've kept the base in boy quite minimalistic as well, which is yes. cool. Like you know, it, it doesn't detract from the model at all whatsoever. Um, but the, the, again, the combination of just purely on the painting side of things, they've done an incredible job just using all the all the sort of mechanical side of things, and at the same time they've got that with nice sort of tones on it as well, which is just really really lovely. Um, not too much. Well, yeah. It's just, it's just, it's mega. Honestly, when I saw this, I was like, "This is serious, seriously awesome." The new kits are brilliant. So, um, who can pronounce that really well in a sort of pseudo pharaoh way? Cannot tech Doomstalker. Oh, that's, that's really good. Yeah. That's really. Good. I think I like that they've kept, they've pushed through <laughs> the sort of. Um, for me, they've pushed through the ancient Egyptian vibe quite strongly with this, um, this dynasty. Yeah, this new dynasty. Does anyone else see that? Yeah, dynasty. Thank you. Yes. <laughs> yeah, and um, I think this is the dynasty of the Silent King, isn't it? I think so. Yeah, yeah. But I'm really, sure the really awesome. combination of the copper and the, and the metallic has plus the inclusion of black, and obviously you've got the green glow from 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 Necron stuff. But like, um, yeah, the, the interesting thing I think will be is, is how this model translates to all the other dynasty schemes and a lot of custom schemes that people do as well, because there's so much of the model to break to break up with color palette as you're painting it as well um but no it honestly it's it's a it's a phenomenal model like really 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 good i think it's a converter's dream as well yeah the stuff you can do with this yeah that could be like a sentry that could be like a static sentry tower Mm -hmm. on a battlefield as well exactly do we have more i think we do there's plenty there's so much people were screaming out for this one when they saw the the video weren't they the yeah like do we said does he have a skeleton on his shield we yes. can now tell you he does yeah he's, he's absolutely dripping they've got detail. a real just sort of medieval knight helmet style with that sort of visor thing yeah. it's, it's nice that they've done that bigger that yeah. bit there that's cool and it's a completely new style. Is the necron flipping the bird down there was that just i think he's missing <laughs> his hand <laughs> right i think he's missing a hand yeah yeah, he's uh, he's not having the best days. I that. find this a very busy model. Yeah, I was going to say that. Like, there's, I love, there's, I like it, but it's loads. busy. Yeah, there is loads. I mean, like even if you compare it to sort of like the standard Primaris captain, like you know, if you look at him and then look at the standard Primaris captain and say which one do you think is a captain, well, this guy's going to yeah. scream over it every time. <laughs> you know what I mean, it's just, it's just, it's just the thing for me that's really interesting is the way they've done the tabards as well because it kind of it, it looks and appears like it tucks under the armored breastplate, which yeah, yeah, is a yeah, bit, a bit belt. Tuck, yeah. it, tuck in your tabard. You get your dinner all over it. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Like it was cool. It's really, really good. Like um, you know, the shields is. It's nice that I think it also comes with the bare head option of the dude in the video. I think as well. If good. Right. So I mm. think it comes with about two or three head options, which is mm. actually quite interesting. Um, but um, but overall, yeah, a, a phenomenal, phenomenal model. Um, yeah, that's right, James. Because push, push, push fit models traditionally in the box sets don't come with multiple heads, do they? No, not no. really. No, and uh, and it, I, I, if memory serves right, I, I be, I'm pretty sure it does come with multiple heads options, which is quite good for it. Um, but yeah, but this is this is before anything else gets done to it. So you know, you put on any any specific iconography or details for chapters as well, um, which is quite interesting. But even with all the detail that it's got, you, 
you can still be able to convert mm. it to fit for your chapter of culture. I think it's quite good. I mean, his, his, at this point of technology, you don't need to flip your visor up. You'll get all the digital readouts you need. It's to, it's to be gangster, isn't it? It's to I glare at someone. It's yeah. like, yeah, see me now? Do you, do you yeah. think it's the base that's making it busy? No. It's a bit. Again, I think the Necron kind of covers shoot. a bit of that sort of bottom part of the model. I'd probably take that off if I was getting it. Okay. Yeah, I mean the shield is, is the shield is in itself is 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 well, it's heaving the detail, isn't it? I mean you've got the skirts and the purity seals, the, the, you've got the sand timer. The, 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 heaving, the, yeah. The, yeah, there's just loads on it. But um, but the thing I really like, the interesting thing is, it's kind of got like a double double um, double sort of scabbard on the on the sword as well. Because you've got if you look down the blade, you've got the two little modules are just off the side yeah. of the blade as well, which is really interesting. Um, it's just there's nice, really sort of heraldic details on there as well. Plus also you've got that knightly kind of feel with it. I'm sure, as anyone has seen, Black Templar players are screaming to get their hands yeah. on this. Oh, model. they are! They are! You know, they are frothing for these Black Templar players and Dark Angels players as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. and Salamanders and Imperial Fists and Blood Every Angels and, uh, and, and Iron Hands. Hands. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. No, I think this is a this is a painter's figure. I think yeah. with all that detail, hundred percent. Yeah, yeah, awesome What's figure. Next? Captain, we have a. <sighs> We needed a Primaris Lieutenant in the box, and we you got a box Primaris box. Lieutenant on Twitter. Yeah. Was so happy. Yeah. I bet he was overjoyed. <laughs> yeah, the thing is, like, obviously he's a lieutenant. They've said he's a lieutenant, but going back to the amount of sheer volume of detail in the model, again, just using the the, the, the current stock Primaris Primaris Captain, like, um, this guy's got way more detail, more busy going on than him, and 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 he's extremely, extremely more intricate than, than even models which are supposed to be that rank so it's quite interesting that even the blade guard have so mm. much more than, than mm. the ranks above them if that makes sense um i love the fact you can see all the power nodules on the inside of the shield um, yeah. the, the size of the of the, of the uh the holster for the the, the <laughs> bolt part is ridiculous like it's absolutely um, <laughs> it's a big gun it is a big gun yeah um and again he's just yeah you know, he's got a full sword and a scabbard as well but again really really cool it's it'll be interesting to know if these guys obviously he's got storm shield but I'm wondering if the backpack detail is is some other sort of save or something because like it, it or it does I don't know because it's just interesting they've all kind of got like, the halo the iron halo yeah mm. yeah which is quite interesting I wonder uh, about also the keys that keep appearing all over the primaries I wonder if anyone knows if there's a fluff reason because traditionally it was a dark angel stroke black temper thing with secrets the primaries are not that secretive are they I mean and then there's the, the I'm I'm a bit the only thing about this model that I'm a bit mixed feelings i'm happy that the holster looks like it could fit the the weapon oh, but yeah. i'm unhappy that the that the holster looks like it could fit the weapon because it's sort of my eye goes straight to it it's a, it's a huge don't, bit of kit on the model like uh, but it's massive but thing don't between primaris marines just usually like mag lock them to their sides yeah, like, isn't that usually the yeah. thing but that's yeah. in heresy and i don't know if they do that anymore belisarius yeah. it's be a heart back to the because we talked about last week i think it was that sort of these are more sort of medieval in their yeah. look. They're more sort of Crusader. basic. Mm. They've got all this technology, but they're still hark back to all the things they used to do, maybe yeah. before they had all that technology, even down to like their helmets. Mm. And I think that's just a hark back to that. The only thing kind of I'm not sure about this model is the tabard in the middle around his sort of stomach. It kind of looks like his actual stomach and he's just got a bit of rolls going on. Yeah. There's, 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 and it kind of covers... <laughs> The armored bulk of the yeah. marine as well. Like it's, it's the only thing I think. Like the models, and I, again, I'm not. Uh, you know, I love the models. I think they're incredible. It's the only thing for me that's a little bit of a niggle. Is just I, I just don't, I, the, I don't like the tabard no. covering that like midsection of the armor. Um, it think, just looks, it looks strange. Like it's tucked into the, 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 the chest, chest armor. It just looks like you know he's like his mum's tucked him before he's gone out the door. Do you know what I mean? Like no, that's know, right, it's, it's cool. Got them all yeah, in there. Yeah. Go, Come on. It doesn't matter how you go out. Just yeah. doesn't. Just go out neat. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> nice uh, you, again, I, I disagree. I think it would look strange if you didn't have that bit there. I'm, I'm not uh, so like yeah, the, ta the tucking in. Is it just a bit, little flat? The tucking in so yeah, doesn't much like, like bother me. Over the armor, though, wouldn't it? Yeah. I liked it when it, there was a little bit of tabard across the chest on the yeah. old veteran. Oh, like it comes yeah. across. Yeah, because uh, then it adds, it adds the feel of it being put over the armor rather than being under the armor. Do you know what I mean? Toga, toga party. Totally. 100%. I'm, yeah. I'm not too bothered about the tucking in bit. I just I don't quite see the, the, the sort of like the weird shapes that it just kind of looks a bit odd. Mm -hmm. 
the way they're yeah. standing, basically. It just looks a bit Yeah, but you know, if, you look at the, tight. if you look at the way the curtains hang and stuff like that, it's very it's very similar to kind of that kind of like kind of thing. That's the thing. So it, it, it yeah, it's soft. Not knocking it in the slightest because it is realistic. Yeah. It does look right. But at the same, at the same time, it's just... It, I, I just it looks for me it just looks like it's strange it's tapped under the armor that's all but you know what guys it's our primary sisters there's, there's many to choose from you can do what you want <laughs> exactly but just these are just niggles as well this is the bold card things. coming back as well is, is a huge thing i love it's that huge, i'm with you joe thing. any heresy anyone anyone hard for heresy will love that yeah, yeah <laughs> it's mega so yeah what's next let's go oh. this guy <gasps> Like, I don't guy. need you guys to talk about this. I've just gone on my own. No, I, I'm, uh, I'm kidding. I'll hold back for that very reason. Like, I think yeah. everyone's thinking it's favorite. Cassius because of that. Yeah. Mm. Might be, might not be. See, I I love the uh, the Primaris uh, chaplain that it brought out. And I said to myself when I got it, I was like, imagine that guy without the robes around him. How cool would that look? They've done it. <laughs> They've just you were like it. a He's genius. Absolutely Kennedy. amazing. Yeah. And I like the fact that he's... He's, a, he's bare head as well. He's a chaplain. Yeah. You don't get that a mm. lot. That's very, he's very rare. It's a great sculpt, that face. Do you know, it's do you know amazing. Talking about the face, incidentally, and paint this, job. Is, this, is, this is the reason why I fell in love with it the moment I saw it. Does anybody remember oh. the metal chaplain on bike? Yep. Yes! Look at the head and then look at the old metal chaplain on bike. And the Crozius is the same. It's very similar, yeah. But it's, similar. it's honestly, like the, the way that he's like half bionic terminator style is is exactly the same as the guy on the old, the old metal chaplain on bike um so i love that that for me was like great little nod back whether it's intentional or not like it's just a great nod back by the design team that they've just done that amazing uh, everything yeah. and they put the, and they put they've taken away the skull helm which is what we traditionally know the chaplain but they said how are we going to how are we going to impart that he's the death of the em- emperor incarnate we'll put some bones on his chest yeah, yeah, like Amazing. he's still got the he's still got a bit of that sort of bone there, but he's still got the armor plate over. That yeah, I love the fact that the the Aquila goes onto the gorget as well. I think it's a lovely little detail. It doesn't stop at the gorget; it's like it goes all the way up and it's sculpted yeah. up to it as well. It's little little yeah. details like that. The extra little spikes on the knee on the knee uh, knee gorgets. Um, you know, uh, yeah, this would be a great knee model. Mm. It'd be it'd be a great model to convert for Legion of Dam because of the bones on the chest as well. Yeah, which great. Um, you know, I, I think the craziest is a little bit busy. Um, like you could you don't almost don't need the halo on the skull, um, mm-hmm. but but it's 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 fine. Like you know, it's it's yeah, that's being really critical, I suppose. But like yeah, it's it's an, an incredible miniature, like incredible. Um, it's incredible. I think, and, and the little um, what do you call the little thing around his waist? It's like containing a, a something. Uh, it's like a little, little bone, little case. Yeah, yeah. that's my favourite feature yeah. on it. It's like a little winged. You know, symbol, fetish, yeah. amazing. I really like that. Yeah, it's the, just, it's just, yeah, mega miniature. It's awesome. Like, um, it's, it's and again, weird to see the gun in the opposite hand as well. Yeah, it is because you don't get there aren't any left-handed. You don't. Well, there's never really been that many left-handed marines, is there? So no. Um, so it's it's just interesting. Um, but yeah, like awesome. It's another another painter's miniature for sure, just because of the pose and because of the details. Oh, so. um, I think yeah. this is a beyond the brush favorite for sure. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. What's the next, guys? Necron Overlord. Oh, yeah, boy. Yeah, there we go. Now we're talking. Yeah. There's never an Underlord, but we now have a Necron Overlord again. <laughs> yeah, no, like he's, he's awesome. Um, like, I think that, that, that obviously the portions are a lot bigger as well, which is good. Um, so everything's getting it, scaled up. Super, super, super imposing, like, m- like massively imposing. He's scary. Um, yeah, he's awesome. Uh, just, just you compare him to the one with like the, the sort of like scythe as well. I've, I've compared miniatures side by side in, that, in the sense of pictures, and just the level of level of intricacy on the model itself is is, is, is vast. Like you know, he's got way much more going on. Um, you know, uh, but the overall, yeah, a really really awesome miniature. Like uh, you, you couldn't really want much more from just, uh, like an overlord. Of it. You I think his hands also. I think the, this dynasty. The, what his is the no, other hand? He's, t- he's clutching a scarab, I think. Right. Yeah, I don't know what that is. It's 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 because they normally have like a reanima- reanimation orb, yeah. don't they? But yeah. it's kind of like it's kind of like it's got an orb on it, but it's like half orb sticking out of it. So it's a bit, bit it might be more weaponized. Be like you yeah. can point click. Possibly, yeah. I mean, it's interesting because obviously the new warriors are, the, the, are a little bit damaged, aren't they? As well, so it might have something to do. It might have something to do with with like repair or, or something. Guess I feel we'll like they. I feel like this dynasty has really it, the, the the lords have really got their shit together. 
and they and they are particularly more hierarchical like the lords look pristine and beautiful and then all, all of their like slave cast are just in a state and serving them it's it's really fantastic yeah it's 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 pretty pretty special nice but yeah he's awesome what's next paint jobs cracking yeah amazing paint job go for the next then what is next yeah let's see the next one the wardens royal royal wardens it's you know what it's really interesting they're putting a new hq class into the necron army because i think it's kind of what they, i think when they were describing it memory serves correct they were saying it's kind of like what a lieutenant would be for primaris but in the right. form of necron so it's quite he does have a stripy skull it, um, he does yeah and also, <laughs> he, and also he's, got the, he's got that kind of like cape work that you see on lords as well you can just see it tucked around, around the side of the gun um but the love the pose, super intimidating. Obviously, has to have a human skull near his foot. Um, but like, awesome. yeah, really, yeah, really, really awesome, awesome model. And um, I think it's kind of like a model that I think a lot of Necron players have been wanting. Like some doesn't the cheaper <coughs> HQ to lead a force that doesn't really have the combat ability, but still puts out a lot of shots. So it's, yeah. you know, see with the with the Royal Warden, I thought this was a maybe a group of five. As in, they're more protection for a lord, like you know, orc knobs are to a war boss, like yeah, a retinue. Yeah. yeah. Just as an aside as well, I hope they do flayed ones. Imagine I think how they they will. Flayed ones. Yeah, if they do need flayed ones, they'll be incredible. Like, um, and, and I think if they follow the same sort of dynamic that they've gone with the new, these new Necron models, I think it'd be just bonkers. So, Amazing. Do you yeah. notice his um, cloak, his like tiny sarcophagus lids? Yeah, yeah. Well, I think that a lot of them are like that, aren't they? I think a lot yeah, of them they are. are. The yeah. sort of connectedness yeah. of metal. Yeah, yeah. It's cool though. I really like it. Like, I love the pose. He's so. In, in I kind of want to somewhere. see a combat version of him, though. The eyes, the staring, the eyes. Yeah. I think just yeah. two, like, whatever swords would just be really cool to see on that. There, there, possibly there might be one down the line. Do you know what I mean? Because like, if, if you look at the tenants, most of you've got marine new tenants that are just bolt rifles or they've got close combat options. So they might well do one, to be fair. So. Yeah, it'd be cool to see. Remember, do you remember the Ushabti? They had the sort of massive blades, but they were two handed. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It'd be cool to do that with these. Yeah. That would be very cool. So, what is, what is next? Moving on, moving on. Oh. Plasmancer. I mean, old mate, Plasmancer. This is really interesting for me because, like, obviously, comms don't have psychic abilities, but from the description of what this guy does, he kind of does kind of does stuff like that but obviously psychic powers but he does stuff that's 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 relevant to sort of gives them their own kind of like unique thing and yeah. i don't know whether it's involved with involved with like um involved with like the repair of the the warriors or something but it's just really interesting as it gives a new dynamic to the necron force which is yeah. quite cool it's like the occulty sort of uh, a layer of ferreric um ancient culture you know he's he's got the long beard almost of like a vizier yeah you know it's like uh, hmm and and a bit of magic or a bit of mysticism i think that's just just a touch is nice in their army because the rest of the races are messing with that so why not it's kind of like their last link to sort of like a biological existence yeah yeah right it's very yeah. got like a very tech priest kind of vibe what is the uh, the other guy called it's not it's not tech priest it's the one that's sort of jumping and he's got the oh it's gonna annoy me now the I can't remember they brought out the plastic kit of it it's kind of like that with the face yeah and the sort of the sort of one eyeball, and the sort of one, like you're saying, Ellis, the sort of vizier kind of thing. Oh, I can't think um, of the name. Yeah. Pose as well. So that got kind of he's kind of magical because he's floating. Yeah, kind of I thing. was going to say like the staff is anything. I think it's connected to that rock that yeah. actually might, might be holding it. But like it, it's just yeah, it's really really, really interesting in the way that the, the, the there's the proportions on it, and also as well the overall look of the model. I think is great. Yeah, if you look fantastic. really closely. It's like he, he doesn't have legs. He almost has like a big thick tail. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, it's almost like a just a spine, oh. isn't it? So yeah, like with a sting at the end. Yeah, with a blade. Yeah. And sense. interestingly, he's less he's less sarcophagus. He's more like um, little digital cubes. Almost, yeah, almost. Yeah, almost, almost. <laughs> yeah. Cool. They almost yeah. Look like, they almost look like floppy disks. Don't they? So, <laughs> yeah. Oh. Yeah. We're, going, He's amazing. we're going back in time with Chitaric these ones. I mean, they are pretty it. old, so they, they yeah. may <laughs> still be, you know, have floppy disks about. Three and a half Te inch floppy. Tec <laughs> Technically, Necrons are about now on a planet somewhere. Yeah. That would be scary. Yes. I don't really yeah, want to. Thank, thank you, Kennedy, for the timeline. No, I think they're, they're nothing. They're, I know, they're but still, they're still there. It's a bit scary. Yeah. I think they'll leave you alone, don't worry, Matt. Yeah, they'll leave me. I'll be fine. 
Nice yeah. threat. Could be one of them. <laughs> next. What's next, fellas? We have uh, something not oh, GW, which is uh, Maxine's sculpts yeah. that he's recently yeah. brought out. Yeah, these the are secret workshop. Incredible. I think they're great. They're really, really great sort yeah, of academic yeah. busts. Yeah. He's, um, he's traditionally sculpted them as well, which is, you know, it's nice to see in the sort of the age of everything's done in ZBrush. Um, it's nice to see some it, sort it of. tell. Well, yeah. It's definitely that a sort of different look to it. But it's nice to see the work, like, you, if you follow him on the, the secret workshop on Instagram, he's got work in progress shots. Yeah. Like, how he does it, I think it's like 10 photos. I think he did it with the, the priest. Mm. Just to see the stage as it goes through, like it looks really rough, and then it, by the end, it's just this beautiful, perfect bust. Yeah, like, by, oh, that, by, by the sculpts and uh, like a bonk is good, like that. Man. Oh yeah, but, like. But the thing is, is that they they have there's obviously got loads of like uh, shawls on and stuff like that. But there was so much going on face, facially with them as well. Like mm. they're just the expressions very expressive. Are, you know, yeah, the, the expressions are incredible. Like overall, um, they're quite like simple in a way, um, and that's kind of I think what he was going for. But like the, the sort of the way you can go with them is any way you want to go. Like it doesn't really matter. Like you can put your right. own sort of style into it, which is nice. I, you, I love, the, I love the, the expression on the priest. It's like something's just caught. He's been heavily, yeah. heavily engaged in his document, and then all of a sudden, what? He's like, oh, what's that? Like, it's just awesome. But like, I love the little details. Like if he's, you can look at like the octopus necklace that he's got on as well, which is really cool. Yeah. Like um, it's just some really little. Whereas obviously the acolytes. All the attention is yeah. well, predominantly on the face, and obviously express. He, he's got an incredible, like the priest, has got incredible sort of sculpted details of the face and all this you know, the flesh work and stuff. But there's still really, really intricate little things going on with him as well, like the chain and all those bits and bobs. But um, but yeah, he's awesome, like really cool. I love the glasses as well, like they're the most yeah. weird looking glasses I've ever seen. So like, can yeah, we get a, no, no can we get a scale on these? Um, I think they're one twelve. They're not massive, one twelve. Um, but they're they're sort of quite a nice size. Um, I have the acolyte one. Not too you have one. You can you buy them directly from at the secret uh, workshop. So yeah. they're sold through uh, Fur Miniatures, but Maxime has a link in his bio um, directly to them. So if you want to go get one, check it out. They are definitely worth picking up. Also, the paint jobs done by Maxime as Maxime as yeah. well, and they're yeah. amazing. Yeah, the paint jobs. Is I mean, the great. acolyte. He's gone sort of the. He's got the very blue sort of purpley kind of colours on the one side, but on the other side, it's yeah. almost just pure red. Mm -hmm. yeah really quite very nice sort of very... object source lighting he had, that, contrast. Yep. he had that kind of touch with his um because he won the slayer sword when it was yeah. last a thing before everything happened <laughs> and he did it with his trogoth if you look underneath mm. it's under also the back is a lot cooler thing. than the front yeah really yeah. he's sort of he's oh, done cooler the whole like, yeah the, the um oh no the, sort of in the temperatures and colors he's really sort of got all the warmth in the front of that troll and then a lot of sort of coolness in the back just with the lighting on the priest, I know I'm probably going on a bit, it kind of looks like he's, because the way he's shaded it, it looks like he's stepping out from the shadows. Mm. Yeah, yeah. As well. Coming through a door, was... declaring yeah. his ministry. But I've had a thought. <laughs> yeah. No, yeah. I, I love him. Never, never also, forgot. give me all your money for the service. <laughs> yeah, <So>. exactly. <laughs> he's not a likable character. The other guy he's... is more likable. He needs a dentist, the priest, I think. <laughs> yeah, he needs a dentist. Yeah. He definitely needs, needs a dentist. He needs uh, some better dental coverage, definitely. And a cuddle. Maybe, yeah, maybe he's reading from the shock of the quote from the dentist. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> How <laughs> much? Yeah, maybe he's like, are you serious? It's that much? Like, I'm not, I know it's bad, but it's not what's that my, bad. I didn't have two fillers. What's my deductible? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's great. He's got. A, you can see he's got a little bit of a diagram. So this is where your teeth are absolutely haggard. Yeah, so, you know, so yeah, this is where your teeth are. This is where they should be. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, no, they're, they're mega. Like absolutely incredible. So, um, and for like, and for like, the first two busts that he's ever released, it's a pretty good start. <laughs> yeah, they're oh, great. Wow, yeah. cool. Okay, next is we got. Who else we got? I've seen this before. Yeah. I haven't seen this. This is awesome. So wow. this is Neko Galaxy. Um, it's a brand new sculpt. I think they released what two weeks ago. Andromeda Fane. Yes, she's cool. very cool. She's awesome. Love pose is great. Yeah. Yeah. Pose, yeah. Is awesome. pose is amazing. Um, there's a clear narrative. You know, she's taking ammunition or re replacing a weapon. I just, I just saw this and just thought, you know, the whole. Um, the proportions looked almost perfect to me. Mm. 
it really it really works but I, like a... all the arm, I like all the armor and everything but that, that i don't that knee claw thing is just is bonkers like <laughs> it's like yeah, yeah it's, just it's got a very there. borderlands feel to me yeah yeah yeah, like, yeah. yeah. It's really, really it'd be cool to see him painted in that yeah. kind of scheme a very Borderlands. bold sort of you know cartoon uh like hard like, was it the hard lines they do i love the fact yeah. that she's got a bionicle arm and uh, like a bi- you know, normal arm and then has a bionic arm as well so it's a nice nice sort of ratio it's sort of like bionic thing i think you want the bionic arm james i think that's I, what we're getting from today i just show. think it's i just think it's a nice little detail because it gives you a nice a thing to have in life yeah well you never know right. <laughs> i think this is 75 mil scale if I'm correct. All right, okay. head. Where can so we get one? So I think they have it directly on their website, um, Neko Galaxy. They have a, a link in their Instagram bio um, to check it out. Is this a one-off or is this part of a series of similar I, I think characters? it's just a one-off. Um, yeah. I'm not entirely sure, but they've got some sort of uh, illustrations and background art going on with it as well, which is quite cool. Really cool. Nice. nice. What is next? Nice. We have Handmade oh, Objects, this- the Logan Grimnar. Oh, giant so this is statue brand new um this is just today just been leaked today wow um, gw model um it's it's really quite unexpected model. really yeah yeah it's a games workshop maybe sure no so it's an officially licensed uh product by a right. uh, handmade object it's the same correct me if i'm wrong it's the same company and i'm g-man against the corn yeah exactly that right? the same thing oh, that was so cool i think this is also the same scale as well it's like That's 150 good. millimeters That's tall bad. Yeah, well, the, the, the G-Man one was huge. Yeah. Was so this, if it's the same, same scale, then that's just bonkers. Like, um, Can you buy this? I don't think yeah, it's yeah. out just yet, but I think it's You'll coming soon. You can pre-order it, on you? I think you can pre-order it. I think there's 500 available total. Yeah. It feels a little bit like um, what took the... Was it Ruben Martinez who won the um, Crystal Brush? Kind of, yeah. Kind, kind of. I mean, obviously, it wasn't Grimnar, but it, it was... Uh, no. Space Wolf like, Lord, same sort of same sort of thing. But like, honestly, like he's incredible, like absolutely incredible. Um, it's yeah. massive as well. <laughs> yeah, that's just pretty. It, it, we haven't got any other angles on it, have we? we no, this is the only image that's available. Yeah. Yeah. No, great. and classic, classic thousand suns, thousand suns pedestal as well. So yeah, it's, uh, I mean, it's where they down the magic underneath the yeah. boot of the wolf. It, it might be it might be a touch too late. I don't know for this kind of thing because you know the big question is what's going to happen to Terminators. That but there'll big. still be a lot of you know old school heads that will love love and lap this up. Definitely, yeah. No. I, so was I, this was this painted? Is it, did you buy it as it, resin? It, it comes it's painted. It's it comes all, painted. Yeah. yeah, it's like a collectible Just, figure type thing. Got it. But I'm sure I'm you can paint anything. it if you want to. Oh yeah, definitely. <laughs> yeah, no, mega. It's interesting. I've done it with white hair as well. So, mm-hmm. just, yeah. Yeah. so, um, but I love his axe. His axe is incredible. Massive, isn't it? It's, like, it's, it's everything of Space uh, Wolf. Yeah. It's actually, it's actually uh, an axe taken off of a corn champion. Ah, yeah. yes, that looks right. So, like, he basically, it's, right. It's, it's, it's an axe that he sort of shifted back to the light. Let's put it that it's way. It's a bit naughty, isn't it? So, yeah. It's just, so, he uh, grabbed the axe, gave it a slap on the wrist, and kept it for himself. Mm. Pretty much, yeah. He's uh, had yeah. it reforged. But but yeah, it's uh, it's it's just quite cool. Hence why it's got a red hue, and um, it's it's pretty nails in game. So so yeah, well, that's the will of the of the space wolf, isn't it? It's so powerful, it can even dominate semi sentient weapon. Yeah, I'm sure it's corner. It's definitely chaos uh, chaos weapon. It looks cornate. It looks cornate. The uh, red. Red. I've never seen that before. I'm glad I saw that. That was cool. I'm glad, so glad James came today because now we know something new. <laughs> Get <laughs> <Everything's a spooky. laughs> yeah. Cool. So yes, next we right. have next and finally oh. Calgar Comics. Calgar, Calgar, <laughs> Marvel, Calgar. Cal- Princess uh, Marnius Calgar. <laughs> no, like, this is actually that. really, really interesting. Like um, that they've teamed up with Marvel. I think that first, that's a huge step, like huge, huge step to give them obviously the access to, to the IP and stuff, which is great. Um, the style, like I would, I, I used to. I mean, as a kid, I used to get the, uh, the Warhammer monthly, so those, those sort of packs yeah. that we used to get, like, and they were obviously pretty grim dark. This has kind of got more of a sort of like uh, less grim dark, mm. but more sort of new vibe to it, which is cool. Like, it's really, really good that yeah. they're using that that vibe. Um, but um, it'll be interesting to see all the different types of media. But for this, Marvel working together with with the Marvel I mean, IP, it's it's a it's massive huge. step up. Like huge, the, the yeah. GWIP is obviously huge and so many companies would die at the chance to get their hands on 
Correct, yeah. Just uh, like one tenth of it. And sort of going into the Marvel thing is a massive step up for sort of the IP being used a bit more. Yeah. Okay, so the main question is really Magnus or Thanos? Fight. <sighs> Who wins? Well, it depends. Has, has, has Thanos got his little snappy glove? His little snappy glove. Um, so let's say yes. <laughs> okay, then he just goes, bye. <laughs> you no longer exist. <laughs> or Sarah Thanks. 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 Exactly. So satisfied. Yeah. But no, I it, don't know. I, this, I, I, I think it, it'd be a tough one. I think, you know, so. Does this mean, though, no, um, every Primark is now a princess? <laughs> yeah. Maybe, yeah. I, 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 yeah. They're under the Disney wouldn't umbrella. That be, wouldn't that be though Disney though, Matt? That would probably be Disney. Yeah, but Disney own Marvel. Uh, yeah, I know, okay. but Marvel don't put out stuff at Disney, do they? So. That's what's going to happen, isn't it? Not They're going to get to the throne room, <laughs> open up the throne room, and Mickey Mouse is just going to be sitting on top of them. <laughs> <laughs> what a Warhammer world! You just there'll be a pl- there'll be a plushy toy room, or we just yeah. have like a uh, scene where the mouse goes into the golden throne and he just sort of you know choke slams the emperor out of the chair and just sits down. Yeah. <laughs> like, nope. I, I do love the fact that they've got an old Mark V box grid on that as well. I think it's lovely. Yeah. yeah. Well, I didn't notice that. The only thing that's really sad is there is a stripy primaris lieutenant heads and he has got a big hole blasted in his chest and they were a bit yeah, upset about that yeah because well, <laughs> yeah. he We're didn't done. tuck his tabard in <laughs> exactly yeah he wasn't by his mum before he went out so that's what happens exactly with the, uh, with the artwork i think with I've, I've read a few comic books and sometimes that the artwork on the front doesn't really reflect what the artwork's like on the yeah. inside yeah yeah but, but this is more baby uh, baby this is more like a baby. To stand out, it's bright. It's going to grab you on the shelf immediately. I mean, it's bright blue and orange. So you're going to take a look at it. And then maybe the artwork inside maybe is a bit more graphic. And a bit Absolutely, more yeah. yeah. It'd be nice to see it maybe a bit more grimdark and not sort of really cartoony because, you know, it's, it's supposed to be the grimdark 41st millennium. Yeah. yeah. But this this kind of opens up the, the idea that, because Marvel do a lot of sort of darker stuff as mm. well, Maybe there'll be more spin-offs where they'll maybe go into maybe the Blood Angels, which maybe is a little bit more dark, or Dark Angels, which is completely chaotic. You know yeah, what I mean? exactly. Maybe, baby. There you go. So, so it's, it's, or, yeah, it's just nice to see that the cool. IP is getting a bit more out there. It kind of brings not not a games workshop sort of like a, a niche thing, but this is kind of making it even more mainstream than it already kind of is. Every every little thing like this helps helps the industry and helps the knowledge of the game yeah. and everything grow mm-hmm. basically so you know a marvel fan might you know will probably i don't know if they do email shots out they must do but they'll probably get an email shot and they think oh what's this and then it'll, it'll captivate a whole new audience and just increase the sort of growth of the industry which yeah. is just all positive yeah. stuff. i'm just what's coming out yeah, yeah, boys cool uh, guys that's the end of what's new section finished there's a lot more oh. than that obviously that's what we chose to cover but yeah next up we've got what's awesome and next what we have some your pick, Al. Yes, I think right. that this was what's awesome. So this is the part of the show, guys, just to remind you, where whatever we sort of come across on the internet of things, something that's pretty cool. And I, I, I've noticed this um, Instagram account for a little while. What I think is awesome about it is when I come across them, I think, oh, it's a new model GW have released. The conversions are that seamless to, me, to yeah. my mind or, or, the, or the way they've digitized it. I think it's a new model and I think I want it. So part of me is like, what a genius um, for thinking of that conversion. And the other part of me is like, it just shows how um, when something's new, I'm automatically <laughs> attracted to buying it. But, but yeah, to me, the standout piece here is the um, is the Jungal kind of Gene Steeder Broodlord, which is basically a head swap, but it's awesome. Um, yeah, guys, what do you Gen- think of genuinely, it? Genuinely, yeah, when you showed me these, I was like, these are these are absolutely incredible. I, I like you thought these were like models, like the 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 the, the cron bottom right is just yeah. incredible, mm. like incredible, right? Um, you know, you were saying about flayed ones. It's interesting that you could use those and make the, that look like flesh over the top. Yeah, of them. yeah you know, but like, but, if, but yeah, like uh, all great. Like even even top right with like it's the blackstone fortress, which yeah, the heart one, the yeah, halfling things. things. Yeah. <laughs> if, riding if, the if trash can remembers, <laughs> yeah, yeah the trash can if anyone remembers like Gorka Morka and like and like Dig and, and stuff like that it reminds me of yeah. that like, like, like a person from Dig and Nob or a bit wacky yeah it's incredible like, honestly these, these are just so good they have so um, much more on their Instagram page as well community. oh they're great mm, definitely loads, check them out yeah check them out 
the logo was great as well. It's kind of a mix between the fantasy and the sort of forty k. Yeah, yeah. I just, yeah. yeah, that's just oh, hilarious. I I, the, the bottom sort of left is it looks like the um the great goblin from the Hobbit just in power armor. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Playing a drum yeah. on his belly. It just they, there's great character. They just had a couple of tweaks and the at Kitbasher community they they're quite new, I think, but they they're really worth checking out. To be fair, as well, top marks for photoshop yeah. skills as well oh, yeah. i found yeah. things like this guy the whole product the whole digital product is amazing the whole brand is amazing to me cool next pick yeah is good pick man. mine so uh this is a commission oh. artist on instagram and he's just done some incredible things like the how yeah. quickly he does them as well is just sort of it doesn't really i don't understand how he does it he's got the the astartes uh art in the bottom middle which is yeah, just incredible so yeah yeah um i just everything he does just is just amazing to me i wish i could draw like it's the one thing i wish i could do but um yeah you can check him out on instagram and he's like open for commissions and it's just great did he do the two demons as well yeah, the red and the blue all. one that's cool i like the uh, the, bo- the bottom right his black, black and white, white stuff is yeah. really on point like, it's really mm. great at or nearest, at or nearest, he's he's really yeah, lovely, lovely looking fella there as well. Or he does his beard <laughs> so nice. Um, I love his love his golden demon demons. If they are golden demon, I'm not sure. But they uh yeah, there's a, there's a lot of character. But it's quite there's another there's a subtlety as well to his work. It's not like ah yeah. bolters guns. Every it's like stoic. It's black. It's black and white stuff. is quite marked. Okay. You know, that sort of Markings, yeah. But it's just really cool things. stuff. Yeah, really good. Cool. Next is your pick, James. Yeah, I, I'm. You know, I've been watching Rodrigo's stuff over the last couple of months, and uh, he is just absolutely. If you don't, if you if you check out anyone first on on Instagram, you should check out Rodrigo's work. He's he's just absolutely incredible with with the the, the just the textures he puts onto both cloth and armor, um, the seamlessness and smoothness of a lot of his blending, and then sort of. Uh, non-metallic work um he's obviously close to my heart he's obviously been painting the the limited edition cast jane kernel as well which i've just been following and it's just it's just so good like um he done a squad of cast chans and like probably the best squad that i've ever seen done like for cast chans in, in general like each one was converted and, and bits and bobs but um but uh just the work that he's put into it is just been just been great to see and like again the, the iron warrior which he's doing which is obviously you can see like it's just so good like it's so 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 good really half really, done it's amazing it's, if you it, it's one of the closest renditions to the there's a there used to be a, a black library novel called storm of iron i don't know if any of you have seen it or not but like the colors and vibrancies and, and how saturated the colors are like the yellow and the golds and stuff like it's the closest physical model i've ever seen to the old cover of storm of iron like um as well which is just really cool um but yeah he's just he's just been smashing it the last couple of months with everything he's been putting up and uh these are just two that i thought really stood out um and look great cool i mean that the the one on the the right is very shiny it was very yeah. cool yeah it's, yeah it's really nice awesome very nice. so the last Rodrigo pick Acura. thank you is yeah. yours matt ah uh, yeah so, of paint. so i'm sure many people who are going to be watching this have heard of this before um but i've been trying to get into painting a little bit differently i mean i primarily work on sort of games workshop stuff which is sort of like my that's my home my base that's that's figures i love but so it's sort of progress i think you do need to paint sort of maybe 54 75 mil and maybe mm-hmm. even some busts and um, just to sort of progress and work out how light works and stuff like that and obviously i came over coat of paint but a couple of years ago now and obviously knowing Andy, who sort of runs the show there, I just wanted to give his, his sort of stuff a shout out because I've got a couple of his bits here, like Garrett, the the middle one, top yeah. middle. Um, I picked that one up a couple of weeks ago, and it's an amazing figure. Yeah, the pose just, is so good. Honestly. Poses are great. Um, like Helpy, the little robot yeah. on the top right, is it's, it's crazy sort of it's steampunk and fantasy at the same time, but there's there's a little bit of science fiction in there and. I just wanted to really give it a shout out because he, when they when they do a figure, they also do a bust of that figure as well. I think that's kind of the thing they do. Like I think it's Anna, 
on top left. They've done a bust of her yeah. as well. Oh, um, yeah, I didn't realise that. The Theft bus is probably one of my favourite buses, to be honest. It's like, cool, it's, isn't it? It's, it's so good. Like, it's just such a good bus. And as well, what you don't really get with a lot of buses is there's an option as well. So you can have him with his gas mask on. Yeah, so you can yeah. have him with the gas mask off. And the sculpts as well are just amazing. Mm. The, the, they're great. Super there's detailed. so much to do with there's a lot of detail, but there's enough there for a painter to go, I can put my own stamp on yeah. this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Uh, like the armor on Garrett, the one in the middle at the top, um, the armor's very, there's no detail on it. So it's go crazy with lights, shadows, texture, battle damage, do whatever you want to it. Even down to the rock, I know it's been painted as sort of like a sort of a moss kind of color there, but you could easily do that as a lava base yeah. if you really want to. Which I've probably seen someone do it as a lava base and, and the, 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 the subtle underglow or the glow on the lava. Yeah. Was, it looks great. It's a really cool model to do it on. Like, um, it's, it's mega. Well, I've seen loads of Seth Bust done as well and they're just, again, a really mega model. I can't remember for Love More Money the name of the, of the, the lady on the bottom right, but this so is my favourite. That's it, yeah. That's my like, favourite. That's my favourite. That standing on is like the most incredible thing ever. Like, honestly, yeah, like, it's cool. she's, a, she's an amazing model in herself, but then you've just got this absolutely badass slug on the bottom of her face. <laughs> like, yeah. Right? And I like how it's behind her. So, it, although it's big and detailed, she's the star. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, it's, she's amazing. I think like, the cool honestly. thing is also, you know, he's entered every single one of these when he finishes them into a competition. Generally of walks course. away with something. I think Anna won, yeah. was it the Gold Masters at Monty? So, yeah. Oh, there you go. Gold Masters, yeah. I did see that in person, though. It was, it was quite... Yeah. It wasn't too... It much. must be so fun to design something, paint it and enter it and get the prestige that, you know, all your work is seen as well. Yeah. It's lovely. Yeah. It's a lovely, like, like a triple threat, Andy. You know, he's always been an amazing painter, so... Yeah. <laughs> it's a triple threat. <laughs> triple threat. Yeah, triple sing, threat. dance, and act. It's fabulous. That guy. Yeah. Yeah. When he gets that guy. Just... Really nice set of miniatures. Go out and buy them. I'm, I'm going to be buying a, a few more, and I hope they do more. Yeah. Be nice I, to see I'm more. sure they will. Yeah, ten That'd more would be nice. nice. And that yeah, is it for uh, for the what's yep. awesome. Exactly. So as every week, we got what's up. This is the part of the show, guys. Where um, yeah, a few of you have emailed us in. Um, we've got a couple of really amazing artists that um, we'd like to give a shout out because you've watched the show, and um, well. Let's go straight in. First um, up, we have... First up, it's... Will Paints. Yep. He sent in so uh, three of his miniatures. Yeah. Sure. Will it's Paints mega. is beautiful, mega. shiny stuff. Mega, mega painter. Mega. He's come along very quickly. I love quickly. Will's whole compositions. Yeah, sorry. Yeah. Yeah, I was just saying, Will, he's, sort of, he's come along on his sort of level quite quickly. Like, yeah. where he sort of came from a couple of, like, even like two years ago to where he is now. It's quite cool. Yeah, and the, I ultras, love, the ultra is one of my favorite ones. I, I love this. I'm yeah, a bit biased on the, on the Blood Angel, but like uh, the 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 ultra is absolutely incredible. Like I love the dino. I love the way he's tilted the floor to make the pose more dynamic. Yeah. I mean, like you know the the the, the, the color, the, you know the color difference on on the base of the miniature. Um, so so yeah, but um, but yeah, he's he's absolutely mega as a painter. See, so, yeah, I go with, yeah, the Blood Angel is my favorite just for the colors. Like yeah. you've got this. Sort of, it's obviously a city that's been taken over by nature now. <laughs> yeah, and you've got this really dark marine in the middle of this bright sort of setting. Mm. Yeah, it's really, yeah, it's really, slightly cold. I in think the warm jungle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think with Will is every single one of his miniatures always has this incredible base. Yeah, he's amazing he's, composition. He's, he's very, very good in base. Yeah, yeah. Very, like very, the very uh, lizardman uh, sculpt thing that the uh, the guy released a while ago with that. And Will made that giant jungle sort of, yeah. sort of scene out of it. It was incredible. We'll have to show us a picture of that next week, Matt. Yeah, that sounds yeah. incredible. I'll, I'll we can't it. only imagine it. Exactly. Thanks for bringing it along, Matt. <laughs> yeah, Matt. <laughs> I just thought that's of lovely. That. Um, so yeah. At Will underscore paints. Will Brightly. Yeah, check him out. Everything, everything he said does is compositionally great. As you can see, his chromes and his non-metallics. He's got OSL touching the wing of the sister. You can set a piece like no oh, other. Is he? He's all right. <laughs> I've never met him. Most I humble, don't know. Most humble and lovely dude you'll ever meet. Oh, well, I look forward to meeting him. <laughs> I don't want to meet him. He sounds way too nice. <laughs> <laughs> You'll corrupt him. Yeah. So he's in. Yeah. That's way too nice. Corrupt him. So yeah. next up we have 
Yeah, Christian um, emailed in. He was he was getting on with his blood angels when I noticed his blood angels, and um, super shiny, metallic sort of look on the on ceramite armor, which not everyone likes. Um, but I think it really work. It really works on these pieces. It's got really deep, deep colors mm. with it, deep contrasting, um, highly saturated sh- shadows. With I was saying, he's, he's got really, really good in the sense of the, 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 the tonal variance on the models, which I really like, and it gives a, gives them their right. really, even though they're not they're not evil, but you know what I mean, it gives them that really sort of evilish kind of tone to them. Sinister, it's, it's sinister yeah, like it's, it's just yeah, really, really cool. I, I, I do also really like that sister model as well that he's done. I think that's that's absolutely awesome. Mm. Um, it's really, they're really lovely. Sort of, they're, they're very lovely. saturated as well. All the colours, yeah, yeah, they really sort of sort of come off of the the surface they're on. I really like the um, sort of the sort of lightning blue going into the the guy's head. Yeah. It, um, Mepiston yeah, yeah, into yeah. his head, and that's obviously mirrored on the the power sword. So if it's all sort of one, but yeah, man, lighting really is cool. great. Simple basing, so you know the miniature really is the star of each of them. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I love the little subtle, subtle little conversion, like on a Death Company dude. He's got a, a chainsaw, which is I don't know. I think that might be from a Space Wolf kit, but it's uh, yeah, it, yeah, it's, it's a Space Wolf it's, upgrade. It's a, more, it's a bit more of an aggressive looking chainsaw, mm-hmm. which is fitting with a Death Company dude. Um, again, really, really awesome, awesome set of models, and uh, you should definitely, definitely check him out on Instagram and give him a follow yep. if you don't. Nice, oh, Christian Global Minutes. That's awesome. So, how do people get their stuff on here, Ellis? Yeah, they- so. Absolutely. As last time, just hashtag your work at, be, at um, hashtag beyond the brush or email us in at beyond the brush at gmail.com. And um, yeah, would you be happy to feature your work? It doesn't have to be like the best work. It can be anything. And we've got some very, very um, highly competitive artists this week's show. No. But, you know, whatever you're proud of, just just bring it. Anything you want to share at all, if it's even like a work in progress or a finished mini. Yeah, 100 percent, because we can always, always have a chat. Oh, army yeah. painters too let's see your armies you know we're, yeah, we're, some of us are gamers here love i love to see armies you know people gone wild with conversions and just you know done quite a quick tabletop good job we love that also, we were part of the studios just, conver- so. just conversions as well because like i think i think last episode we done about that massive massive uh, um gargant, oh, gothic yeah the gargan thing that was being made and uh like, yeah and like just seeing working with like conversions as well there's a lot of skill in just converting so it's just stuff like that whatever you're really proud of just just tag us and we'll, we'll feature it definitely. definitely yeah awesome so that's all for this week's what's up um normally we go to what's next but as the world is still on pause and things are slowly getting back to normal and um, there's not a lot coming up but we are looking forward to iron skull which is the Siege Studios number one miniature world world class painting competition that happens in London? Tickets are selling now, selling out quick. I think everyone's competition hunger is growing. <laughs> I'm going to say, I take everything to Iron Skull. Uh, that's true for me. So, um, yeah, James, where can we get those tickets? So, there, well, there'll be a link, along with links to all of the featured painters and all the bits and bobs uh, that have been shown in this uh, episode will be in the description of the video. Um, but Iron Skull is on the 27th of February 2021, uh, Saturday in London, held at the yard in Shoreditch. Uh, and I'll we'll put a link uh, below to the ticket so you can just grab your ticket. Uh, there's also going to be a link to the Iron Skull website so you can go and check out all of the uh, different bits and bobs that are on there, the, the different categories and, and how, to, uh, how to sort of enter and all those things are going to be on there. So, um, so yeah, it'll be the first comp of the 2021 season as well, which will be good for you guys no, like, that have been exciting. doing loads of painting over the uh, over the lockdown period. So everyone's going to be getting out their catalogue. Um, but, um, but yeah, it should be a really good event. We're looking forward to it. Can't wait. Another competition. We need it. <laughs> yeah, it's gonna be a good one. So, so yeah. Ellis is so excited about Iron Skull 2021 that he's turned off his camera so he can start painting. Ah, there we go. Oh, it's coming back. There he is. I was yeah. so excited. I I broke the broadband with ele- bioelectrical energy. So um, yeah, Iron Skull 2021. I'm gonna be there, and you're all gonna be there, and we're all gonna be there, and um, yeah, hopefully the um, and we'll add. As the world resumes normality, normality, um, we'll add in other events as they happen. But yeah. until then, Matt, can I was just going to say, um, as a, an add on to that, I think Matt's talking about doing this live from Iron Skull, which would so, be yeah, cool. Hopefully, we'll be able to get a live stream going um, during the awards ceremony. 
um, depending on the broadband sure. connection that's out there. Um, but yeah, we should be able yeah. to stream the awards live for everyone to see. That's exactly. Amazing. And I'll be, um, I'll be emceeing that as well. So we'll right. see what happens. <laughs> Maybe not. Um, so guys, yeah, thanks. We have been Beyond the Brush episode two. Don't forget, hashtag Beyond the Brush for your work in progresses for next time. We'll see you in a month. But until then, goodbye from me. Bye from me. Goodbye from Matt. Yeah, goodbye from Matt. Goodbye from James. Yeah. And be excellent to each other. Yeah. Okay. Yourself. See Bye. you later.